Hi guys, welcome back to Lensday Wednesday, brought to you by Click Video Mag. This episode, the much anticipated 100 to 400 millimeter IS Mark II. As I mentioned in last week's episode, the 400 mil 5.6, there was a hell of a beast in the room, and this is most certainly it. The 405.6 is a fantastic fast prime lens, but the lack of stabilizer makes this a very, very, very attractive and very interesting alternative. Now, the 100 400 Mark I was on the market for a good 15, almost 20 years and when this was announced in Fotokina 2016 uh, rapturous applause ensued it's an incredible upgrade to that lens the first things first moving away from that pushing forwards and backwards zoom to a lateral zoom it meant a lot less of the focus issues that people were getting on the 100-400 years and years of slamming that lens into 400 as soon as you see a bird on the branch or a lion jumping out of a tree those things did damage the autofocus mechanism and to, to the actual barrel itself and the more that camera went up from 12 to 16 to 20 million pixels the more evident of softness on that 100 400 the mark ii came in and they changed everything the optical design was uh, rebuilt from the ground up new coatings were added the fluorine on the outside the air sphere coating etc etc the end result is a an astonishingly well-engineered lens. Canon engineers rate this as one of the hardest lenses to build. And given the kind of quantity that we sell of this, it's quite astonishing to, to understand how much work goes into building this particular piece of glass. Everything about it screams quality. It's the L-series, that red line you've known uh, and trusted for years. Features, capabilities, the optical performance is astonishing. Or a focus speed out of this world. The lens comes standard, as you can see from this one, a very well-used uh, tripod collar which is removable and adjustable and replaceable the four stop image stabilizer is absolutely astonishing for the first time ever a uh, lens hood that had a built-in window specifically for people using circular polarizers you could actually turn turn the lens element again for the first time ever canon i would guess over engineered this baby specifically because it's a workhorse amongst uh, wildlife and bird photographers worldwide small and light and easy enough for youngsters to use which means for professionals uh it's even lighter and even smaller a carry around go everywhere kind of lens i cannot say enough good things about this lens it is literally one of the top selling lenses in South Africa as a best match combination it was announced together with the 7D Mark II uh, all the bells and whistles you could possibly want in terms of stabilizer built in hood what an incredible lens it comes at a price make no mistake there's a lot of third party options out there with maybe longer focal lens that are proving to be very attractive these days for a lot of money uh, a lot of people you're getting a lot of bang for your money I have to say to you if you can push yourself the optical performance of this is astonishing. Whether it's on promotion with a cashback, whether it's on promotion with a free extender, the extenders work very, very, very well, especially the 1.4. And when you put that onto a crop sensor camera, you're getting a 560 mil at f8, but on a crop sensor, looks closer to a 750, 800 millimeter lens. Nothing wrong with that in a package this tiny. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know your comments below, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me. I know this is gonna be a contentious lens. I know that a lot of people are gonna to wanna to talk about it. Is it sharper than the 405.6? I think so. Yeah, sorry, uh, that is the truth. That is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>